Hello students. Today in this lecture we will discuss about the various parts of the lathe machine. In previous lecture we have listed some of the simple parts in the 2D figure that is the head stock, tail stock, carriage, tool post and the different legs of the lathe machine which supports the entire machine. So here to understand the various parts of lathe machine let us have a look at the figure shown over here. In this we have listed the different parts. I am again indicating the main important parts available in the lathe machine in this particular figure. And after this we will discuss the main important parts in detail. So here as you can see the first important part of the lathe machine that is the lathe bed. So here the first part that is the bed is indicated. So this is the bed. Now the second important part that is the leg and this leg supports the entire lathe machine. Now this next one that is the head stock and this head stock consists of the main important driving mechanism and supports the spindle which holds the workpiece. Now the next one that is the tail stock. This tail stock is available at the another end of this lathe machine and these are there are different important mechanisms or the there are different important operation that can be performed using this tail stock which we will discuss now the next one that is the carriage and this carriage consists of the main important part that is the cross slide compound rest and the tool post so these all parts are available over this carriage. Now the next one that is the lead screw. And as we have discussed in our previous lecture also this lead screw is helpful during the thread cutting operation. And that we will discuss during that particular operation we will understand. Now the another one that is the feed rod and the hand wheel. So here this hand wheel is helpful to provide the movement to the tool during machining operation. So these are the basic parts available in this particular lathe machine. So here now we will discuss each and every part in detail in our further topics. So the first one that is the bed. So this bed is helpful to provide support to the entire lathe machine and that's why the material used for this lathe machine that is the grey cast iron. So this grey cast iron is used as a bed material because this grey cast iron is having high compressive strength, high wear resistance and it has the high damping capacity that means it can absorb vibration very easily. And the function of this bed is nothing but to prevent the deflection, absorb the vibration and avoid distortion of the lathe machine during loading condition. Now the next important part that is the main guideways and outerways are also the part of the bed available. Now the next important part that is the head stock and this head stock is helpful to support the spindle. This is the first function of the head stock. Similarly it is also helpful to carry the driving mechanism which are helpful to provide the motion to the and this hard stock also consists of the different mechanism which are helpful to provide the multiple variation of the speed to the spindle. So this head stock consists of the main two different mechanisms and based on availability there are two different types of arrangements are available. So the two commonly used head stock are first one that is the back gear cone pulley type head stock and the second one that is the all geared type headstock and the major important arrangement of these two back gear con poly type and all gear drive type headstock that we will understand in our further lectures now the next one that is the tail stock and this tail stock is also called as the loose headstock or the puppet head the name given that is the loose headstock because the headstock is fixed at the extreme position and this cannot be moved in lathe machine. 
whereas this lath machine in this lath machine tail stock can be moved towards the head stock or away from the head stock based on the length of work piece available as this can be adjusted very easily in the lath machine that's why it is called as the loose head stock and here you can see the simple figure of the tail stock and as you can see here this is the spindle which helps to hold the longer work pieces and also in this particular spindle slot different tooling or different tools can also be adjusted here the clamp is shown and this clamp is useful as it is fixed when we fix this this tail stock cannot be moved but when we lose this particular clamp or this section this tail stock can be moved in the lath machine towards the head stock or away from the head stock and this is the main screw here rotating wheel or screw you can say so this particular rotating wheel helps to move the spindle in outward direction or maybe in inward direction based on the machining operation required so these are the simple basic parts of the tail stock so now what are the important function of the tail stock so as we have listed over here the first one that is it is useful to support the another end of the work piece when the work piece are longer in length the second advantage that is it is also useful to hold the tool for performing different machining operations such as drilling and reaming and the next one that is the to turn the taper on the work piece tail stock is adjusted during the setup that is called as the tail stock set over method so again just in simple words this tail stock is useful during main three d important patterns that is first one is to hold the longer work piece during machining operation second one is to support the tool for performing certain machining operations such as drilling and rim and this tail stock is also helpful to maintain the turning process or the taper turning condition using the tail stock set over method and that tail stock set over method that we will discuss in our further topics now the next important part that is the carriage and this carriage is majorly important part as this is useful to provide support to guide or to feed the tool towards the work piece during machining operations this carriage consists consists of the many different parts over it and that we will discuss so as you can see in this simple figure there are different parts are available which we will see over here the first one that is the bed above bed the saddle is available above saddle cross slide is available above cross slide compound rest is available and above compound rest swivel plate is available and above swivel plate the basic arrangement that is the tool post assembly and the compound rest feed screw these particular sections are available so all these parts are arranged layer by layer over the carriage and all these different parts have its own advantage so the first one that is the saddle this saddle is helpful to provide the movement to the tool in particular parallel direction towards the work piece so the parallel movement of the tool towards the work piece or away from the work piece that can be easily obtained by using the saddle now in perpendicular direction of the work piece or the feed movement of the tool is given very easily by using this cross slide so the second important part that is the cross slide and this cross slide is helpful to provide the movement to the tool in perpendicular direction of the work piece now the next important part that is the compound rest this compound rest is helpful during the turning or taper turning operation and above this compound rest swiveling plate is available swiveling which we can adjust the taper angle so this compound rest is helpful to maintain the 
taper turning operation and the required taper angle is provided using this swiveling plate and with this also this compound rest feed screw is also available that means during taper turning operation the feed movement is given by using this compound rest feed screw so this is very much important to understand so in simple word if we say to the workpiece to provide a parallel feed movement a simple saddle is used to provide the feed movement in perpendicular direction cross slide is used but during the taper turning operation to provide the feed movement this compound rest feed screw is used which is very much important to understand and the next one that is the tool post this tool post is consist of the tool which fixes the tool very rigidly so that the machining operation can be performed very easily so these are the main important parts of the lathe machine that is the first one that is the bed second one that is the head stock third one that is tail stock fourth one that is the carriage so if we simply revise all that part again bed helps us to support the entire lathe machine and it is useful to prevent the deflection and absorb the vibration the second one that is the head stock and this head stock is useful to hold the workpiece very rigidly and to provide the rotary movement the tail stock is useful to hold the longer work pieces and also useful for certain machining operations such as drilling and reaming next one that is the carriage and this carriage consists of the many different number of parts and this is useful to provide and support the movement to the tool during machining operation so i hope you got the simple clarity about the different parts available in the lathe machine and how these parts are useful to carry out the machining operation so another topics we will discuss in our further lectures so looking forward to see you all in our next lecture up to then thank you